Okay, uh, can't believe the season's here already, but uh, we're excited about it. It's, uh, it's been a long off season for us. Uh, players have worked hard. Uh, kind of a quiet off season in a lot of ways. Uh, guys took care of their business and, and uh, didn't have anything that was uh, negative. Uh, from a player standpoint, I thought we, uh, we handled ourselves pretty well. Uh, the biggest thing, obviously, in the offseason was uh, Dennis Erickson's hire uh, as the co-offensive coordinator, and we're excited about that. And um, I'm excited to see what uh, what the offense does on Thursday night. So, so that's really the biggest thing that uh, I'm anticipating. Uh, Utah State, a uh, very good opponent. Well, they win 11 games last year. Uh, quality football team. Got most everybody back. Um, new coaching, uh, new head coach. Uh, a lot of the same assistant staff has, has returned, but. But uh, we expect that they're going to be every bit as good as last year, and uh, we have a big challenge ahead of us. So questions? The history has been so lopsided between Utah and Utah State that some people shy away from the word rivalry with it. But their recent success, what does that do to this series and your preparation? Well, we prepare for the same, you know, prepare the same way for every game, regardless of who the opponent is. We've, we've always uh, had a great deal of respect for Utah State. And, and as I mentioned last year, they were a terrific football team. And, and uh, you know, we, so we – we view it as a, anything in state as a uh, rivalry flavor to it. And so we approach it that way and uh, from a mental standpoint. But, but uh, like I said, they, they are coming off an exceptional year. And uh, we're going to have to bring our A game in order to have a chance to win. You had some inconsistencies over the years with quarterback. Uh, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you have to say about this year's uh, quarterback uh, group and, and how you expect it to be? Well, to say we've had inconsistencies is an understatement. You know, the last four years has been uh, – not anything near what we needed to be quarterback-wise from a consistency, from a production, from a continuity standpoint, all the above. And so we're hoping this year that uh, we put an end to that. You know, we've uh, got a much improved offensive line. At least we feel it's much improved. We'll have to find that out for sure on Thursday night. But but uh, with Travis Wilson being our quarterback, you know, he's he's a much bigger, stronger guy than than uh, you know than the quarterbacks in years past, six six and two hundred forty plus pounds. And so we're hoping that this is the year. Uh, for the first time in, in many years, four years, I guess, that we're able to finish the season with the same quarterback that we start the season with. So we'll see if we can get that done. When the Eats take the field on Thursday, what's the single biggest difference we're going to see between this year's team and last year's team? Hopefully productive production on offense. You know, that was the, you know, I think we were two for 17 on third down against the Aggies last year. And I don't know if you're ever going to win a football game going two for 17 on third down. I mean, that's atrocious. And so we hope to uh, be much different offensively, much more productive much more explosive than we were last year. And uh, if we're going to compete in the Pac-12, uh, you know, as we go through the conference schedule, that has to happen. That has to be the case. How much of an increase in plays per game do you think you'll average now? Good question. I would say just off the top of my head, you know, you'd hope for 8 to 10 to 12, somewhere in that range from, from what we were last year. And, and uh, But we haven't put an exact number we'd like to hit. We just want to play up-tempo and, and – uh, Get in, you know, get on the football, get it snapped, uh, run the play, and same thing over and over. Just get it, get it, get the tempo uh, where we need it. And with uh, with Utah State probably doing the same thing this year, at least we anticipate that it could be a, a game that uh, you know might be a four-hour game and and uh, a lot of plays. What does it uh, mean to you personally to have a guy like Dennis Erickson on your staff? And now that football week has arrived, you've been through spring and fall. What what is he? Uh, done. What have you seen out of the offense since his arrival? Well, first of all, it's been a huge benefit to, uh, to all of us to have to have Coach Erickson with us. Um, not only from an offensive standpoint, but as I've said before, a, a sounding board for me, a guy that's uh, been in just about every situation imaginable as a head coach. And so, you know, if situation arises for me where I need some advice, there's no better guy to go to, and he's right down the hall from me. And so, it's uh, it's been big, and the players have really embraced him. And uh, but like I say, you know, we got to wait until we line up on Thursday and see exactly what the what uh, what the effects are. But uh, so far, it's been very positive.